As an American citizen, I take great pride in my country, her prosperity and institutions, and would defend any states if her rights were invaded. But I can anticipate no greater calamity for the country than a dissolution of the Union. So, it's 1862. The tie at the Battle of Bull Run is a full start for the two warring parties, but now the South is led by Lee's skillful hand. Operations are about to change pace. So, at the start, that was Robert E. Lee, what he's saying before the Civil War. It, he is a odd character. He was offered a role in the Union Army. He had uh, graduated West Point. He was second in his class, I believe guy who was in first is famous for uh, dropping out but yeah um, and being in Robert E. Lee's class choo choo here comes my train I'm not going to get three oh I am going to get three gold I've got three forts okay we have a bit of an advantage here yes Robert E. Lee was a different difficult character history's written by the victors and in the Civil War, you have the victors writing history and you also have the conquered writing history. Lee always purported or composed himself as a southern gentleman and honour was one of the most important things to him. But he was a slave owner. And although he was against slavery, oddly enough, being a slave owner. Right, let's try and save some infantry. Let's try and save some cannons. Let's try and save some infantry. Come on. Um, what can we do here? Okay, he's got through, hasn't he? Let's go for his cannon. Uh, there goes my infantry. We are getting bastarded on here. Um, I don't know how to take these guys out. There we go, done. Three cavalry left. Yeah, he's a difficult character. He was a slave owner. He inherited a plantation with, uh, I don't remember how many slaves. Could be 10, could be 50, something like that. As part of the will of the, in of the person who died that gave him the inheritance. He was asked to release the slaves within five years. When he got there, the slaves were expecting to be released straight away. Whereas the plantation was in debt, so he was kind of, no, you can't go just yet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good. Alright, back to the cannon. Yeah, so he kept them in indentured servitude a bit longer. He was a white nationalist as well. He didn't believe black people had the capacity that white people had. And yeah, they shouldn't be allowed to vote. So he wasn't a great person in that respect. But not uncommon thinking at the time, even in the North. I mean, up until, what, 1860s America, you had segregation, so... That's less than 100 years ago. Terrible. Right, capture the fort. Let's do this. We're going to do this first time, and we're going to do it without issue. I've noticed all the guys in here that we shoot are either ginger or bald. Bald. This one's going to be ginger. No, he's going to be bald. Place your bets now. Fuck. Ginger. Right, I'm running. I'm going over here. This is a shit place to be as well. Let's get that health. Have that bitch. There's a bald guy. Sorry, not bald. Follically challenged. In the head, he was red-headed. What's this one going to be? Red-head. Didn't get to see that. How many have we got? Oh, there's someone on the walls there. So, look, that guy up the top there, you can just about see him. He must be able to get up there somehow. Oh, missed shot. Reloading. I only put one bullet in there. There we go. Three people left to kill, though. Wouldn't mind taking that guy out on the wall. Ah. Ah. I do like these games. 
these little mini games, these four capture, right, one shot, two shots, there's one more guy, where is he, he's behind us, we can probably go out in the open now, face him like a man, no, do not, do, no, it can't, and like this, no, 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 shoot, oh, in the testicles to finish it off there. I almost finished myself off there. Fucking idiot. Right, can we move anymore? We cannot. We can buy an army though. So let's do that. Let's go to the shop and buy the army. Continue. We'll put that there and we'll take some Union territory here. Good. Changing the flags. And that's everyone moved. Hopefully the ship will come and then this dude will try and attack us. He can't buy any more armies though because he doesn't have two forts. We may have finished this very quickly. What was that? First turn? There you go. If we win this battle, it's game over. Right, we have two cannons as well. Double the damage, in theory. Brilliant. So still one alive. Lovely. Didn't take a single injury there. Yankees are not capturing the state and it's game over. I think this has to be my quickest game ever. There you go. Robert E. Lee, the uh, military masterminds on the case. We win. Huzzah. <laughs> anyway, sorry it's a short one, but thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll be back again soon with something. Wow. Next one of these, I suppose. I think there's two more to go and then we're done with this. Anyway, thank you. Bye-bye.